Hey folks, how you doing tonight? Hope you're doing well. I want to make this video just going over my layouts on Trader Workstation, my newly updated layouts. And we'll get right into it here. So my current layout looks something like this right here. So I'll move myself out of the way temporarily just so you can get an idea of what we're looking at here. So you can see there's a bunch of charts, there's a bunch of time and sales, and there's a couple of watch lists, and there's a couple of price ladders. That's it. And in general, for me, this is what's working right now. And I'm always in the process of fine tuning what I'm using. And originally when I started trading, I was using things like RSI and money flow and different kinds of moving averages and things like ATR. But generally now I'm sort of comfortable using a couple of exponential moving averages. I want to look at option implied volatility. And I put the VWAP on the chart because it does make sense in during, especially during trading range days like we had on Friday. Um, so that's it. So I'll go over the layout here. So generally I have two groups here in Trader Workstation, which means that when I change things on one group, everything in that group is going to change. And when I change on the other group, everything in that group is going to change. So I'll go over it real quick here. And I want to tell you that this tape, this chart, this level two, and this watch list are all linked to group number one. So if whatever I select here is gonna switch that tape, that chart, that level two, all right? Now group number two is for my derivatives. So this watch list right here, this chart right here, this time and sales right here, and this uh, price ladder right here are linked to group number two. So whatever I select here, it switches all of those charts. Okay, and basically I use my options chain to send options to this group right here. So my options chain is in that group. So for example, in the daytime, I'm looking at what's happening. I press a key, bring up my options chain, and then I can select whatever ticker, select whatever option I want, click on the option and it gets sent to here. Per se, if I want to send, all I need to do is click on it and drag it into the watch list and it will bring it into there. Now. Take note of the color here. So I've, I've had it set to, if the options are in the money, they appear as green. And if the options are out of the money, they appear as red. So it's just a quick reminder here. I also have the option Greeks on the side here just showing. So whenever options I pull up into this watch list, I can see their deltas and gamma. So I don't always have to go back and look in the options chain to see if that option still has a 10 delta because those deltas move when the price moves, all right? So generally, that's pretty much the setup. In the middle here, I have a small thumbnail chart, and this is generally just going to be used for watching whatever I think is the most important pattern in the market right now, or whatever, if there's a certain hourly tightening range I'm watching, or if I wanna take a look at what the VIX is doing, or if I think crude oil might have an effect on what the market might do. If crude oil is going to be losing its hourly uptrend, it could cause a a bearish effect on the market, whatever, you know, just whatever chart I'm watching in the middle, it's going to be right there. Okay. So this is generally the main layout I've created right now. And right now this is a 32 inch monitor, so it fits quite well. So I don't know how it looks on the YouTube video, but for me, this is a giant monitor in front of my screen. So it looks great actually. Now I do have one or two other, um, layouts that I have created. This was an older layout that I had and I had time and sales one there and one there. This was an even older layout than that. As you can see here, I had a chart there, another chart there, one big watch list. As you can see, a lot of big wasted space, especially for this 32 inch monitor. I have this for mainly using as scanning and to display volatility and put and call volume, stuff like that, open interest. Let's close this tab real quick. And I'm gonna show you another tab I had just created. I wanted to create a compact tab with basically all of the things that you need to trade but nothing that you don't need. So right here, this is exactly the same as what I just showed you, except this is the compact tab. And I might even go as far to get rid of this third time in sales right here. So this is the type of thing that like, if you have a smaller monitor per se, okay, maybe not that small, but like say about that big, if you're looking at like around a 22 inch monitor, you could get away with trading on something like that. You know, you could use Trader Workstation on a smaller screen and get away with that, okay? But I, I think it's important to make use of your screen real estate. I mean, if you have a big screen, you might as well use it. So this is better for if you're using a smaller monitor size. 
So I'm gonna get rid of that for now, but I did create it just for that. And it's, as you can see, it just mimics my other layout, but just in a, uh, in a way where I'm using more efficiency in the spatial placement. So two groups, a couple of charts. Now I'm gonna be using the two minute time frame generally. Now for day trading, I'm still com not completely sure as to what time frame I'm going to be using 100% of the time, but definitely I've, I've had good success using the five minute time frame and the one minute time frame to accompany that. Now, as you can see here, I switched it to a 15 second and it's, there's a lot going on in that 15 second time frame. But if you look, if you look carefully at certain points here, you can see certain things. And I hope you enjoyed this video. So this was a little bit of platform tutorial. Take care guys. Wish you a great night. Take care.